Open up resources. Illustrative math. Seventh grade, unit four, lesson four. Half as much again. Number one, match each situation with a diagram. X minus one-fourth or one-fourth less than X. This represents X and below it represents one-fourth less than X. This diagram represents X and one-fourth less than X. Match one of these diagrams with X and one-fourth less than X. X plus three-fourths. This represents X and this represents three-fourths more than X. This whole diagram represents X plus three-fourths of X. Match one of these situations with the diagram. One-fourth of X or one-fourth times X. This represents X and this represents one-fourth of X. Find the diagram that matches the situation. Number two, Elena walked 12 miles. Then she walked one-fourth that distance. How far did she walk altogether? Select all that apply. This diagram represents 12 miles, and I've divided it up into four fourths. Each of the fourths has three miles. This represents three miles, and since three miles represents a fourth of 12 miles, I could tack this on to the end of it. 12 miles plus three miles, or one fourth of 12 miles, equals 15 miles. So 12 plus a fourth of 12 and 12 times 1 plus a fourth and 12 times 5 fourths. These all equal 15. 12 times 5 fourths equals 15 and 12 times 1 plus 1 fourth equals 15 and 12 times 1 fourth of 12 also equals 15. Number three, write a story that can be represented by the equation y equals x plus 1 fourth x. y could equal the distance ran on Sunday and x could equal the distance ran on Saturday. This x also represents the distance ran on Saturday, and one-fourth of x means one-fourth of the distance ran on Saturday. I ran x miles on Saturday and one-fourth more than that distance on Sunday. Number four, select all ratios that are equivalent to four to five. Four divided by two and five divided by two equals two to 2.5 or two to two and five tenths. Four divided by two is two and five divided by two is 2.5, but five divided by two is not three. So the ratio two to three is not an equivalent ratio of four to five. 4 times 75 hundredths equals 3, and 5 times 75 hundredths equals 3 and 75 hundredths. The ratio of 4 to 5 is equivalent to the ratio of 3 to 3 and 75 hundredths. Here's another way to do it. Since 4 divided by 7 does not equal 5 divided by 8, then the ratio of 4 to 5 is not equivalent to the ratio of 7 to 8. Here's the next one. Since 4 divided by 14 does not equal 5 divided by 27 and 5 tenths, then the ratio of 4 to 5 does not equal the ratio of 14 to 27 and 5 tenths. 
Number five. Jada is making circular birthday invitations for her friends. The diameter of the circle is 12 centimeters. She bought 180 centimeters of ribbon to glue around the edge of each invitation. How many invitations can she make? This represents one of her circular invitations with a 12 centimeter diameter. The perimeter of a circle with a 12 centimeter diameter would be 12 centimeters times pi, or 12 centimeters times just about 3.14. So the perimeter would be just about 37 and 7 tenths centimeters. With 180 centimeters of ribbon, divided by just about 37 and 7 tenths centimeters, she could make four invitations because she would have just about enough to make four and 77 hundredths invitations. So she wouldn't have enough to make five, but she'd have enough to make four. How can you help? Consider subscribing. Support on Patreon. Read the description. Tell your friends. Tell your teachers. And use my Google Doc with links to all the illustrative math lessons. Thanks for watching.